Hello everyone. So when we left Tampa, we started moving north and we went not very far from where we were. We went to Newport Ritchie and to a campground called Jamar North because they had north and south and we went to north. And here we are, we got a spot and we are setting up our Ollie. Our spot wasn't exactly level so we had to use the Anderson levelers uh, to help us out. I can put it right in the middle. Also, what I wanted to mention, folks, before you pop off and get off the ditch, you want to make sure you always chalk. Chalks. Just make sure that your trailer doesn't roll. Yeah, make sure before you disconnect. Yeah. Disconnect, take it all the way down until the, the uh, lake comes up. Sometimes this gets a little bit stuck, so you just take, there you go. <laughs> and then all I gotta do is after I move the truck, is I gotta drop it because we're a little bit too high. So we're a little bit high, so once I move the truck out of the way, I got to lower it down the front again. end a little and get it leveled. Yeah. Side to side, front to back. Yeah. Let me get Emma because she's very impatient and she doesn't want to stay. Come on, baby. Stay here. Okay, so now we got to hook up everything. First thing I'm going to do is the power. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, yes, we have four hookups this time, thank God. It's $30 for Passport America. First, first time this trip that we get four hookups, right? Yeah. Oh my God. Imagine that. When you plug in your power cord, always make sure it's off. Yeah. Always make sure that power's off. Emma, come here. Come here. Okay. Now go inside, honey, and let me know if we got power before I do anything else. Second item, water. That's right, city water this time. still put the uh, uh, filter of course which we don't drink this water like that but we feel better putting the filter now 
we have, all we have to do now is just uh, hook up our waste and we're completely hooked up. We don't even need to worry about it right now because we just dumped it. So we're good to go. So when he does hook up this, uh, this linky to the sewage, um, we do not uh, leave the tank open. We don't pull the lever because we have full hookup. Uh, yeah. we, we use the black tank as if we were not hooked up and when it, it's kind of full then we dump it. That's right. And that's even the same with our, uh, our, our gray water. We don't keep the gray water open. We will let it get you know almost full and then we just pull it. And that's it. There you have it in a nutshell. Very simple. One of the probably most difficult things with hooking up with the Oliver, as far as that goes, is the Anderson, if you're using it. That thing is going to, it's got a learning curve that yeah. you'll, you'll need to get used to. Other than that, piece of cake. Yep. When we left Tampa, we had the great pleasure of meeting John and Laura Hebert of Hebert's Travels. If you haven't watched them or seen them on YouTube, I su we suggest that you do. Uh, they're a real nice couple. And John uh, was doing uh, a signing for his uh, book that was just released, RV Life. And uh, it's a good read. Uh, if you're interested in RVing, and even if you're not, uh, we definitely suggest that you pick up uh, a copy. You can buy it at Amazon. Uh, that is the book. And uh, it's, like I said, it's a really good read. So we had the pleasure of meeting them, and unfortunately, um, the mic uh, of my camera was not in all the way, so we didn't get any audio at all. <laughs> unfortunately, uh, these things happen when you least want it or expect it. But at least we have some images. Unfortunately, the mic didn't uh, work again uh, when we went to the restaurant. <laughs> but at least we have some beautiful images of uh, the place right on the, the water. At least this place didn't give us any grief for having uh, Emma uh, sitting outside with us. So we were grateful for that.